الله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم every technology comes as an understanding for a very deep reality there is a continuous signal being broadcasted from a higher conscience that higher conscience that reality of the soul is always in the divinely presence it's at the station where the transmission is coming out God didn't give you your gift to go and destroy it. The light of my soul that put upon my body is so buried deep within me and lost its ability to connect to the Wi-Fi. The more you time out, the more you disconnect it, all your choices will be wrong in life. And every type of difficulty begins to visit the servant. As we see difficulty around us, more and more of this craziness upon the earth, the lies and deceits hide, stay out of the way. People are not doing well. That's why then these meditations are our survival mechanism. Tafakkur and contemplation is not hug a tree but it's to connect to a higher power. There is a power much more powerful than anything about myself and I'm submitting my life to that power. Things that I can do, I try to do but I quickly understand the things I have no power and authority over and I submit to it. Allah's power, God Almighty's power is everywhere. His Wi-Fi is, is a signal that is broadcasting and, and sustaining every single atom. If you can understand the one, you'll understand the whole because this universe is just more atoms. From one atom there's a nucleus, that nucleus is a power, it is the source of power. Allah put within that nucleus love, what they call mass attraction. That attraction, قُلْ إِنِي كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُونَ اللَّهِ فَاتَّبِعُونِي Allah talking to the electrons, tell them, if they love me فَاتَّبِعُونِي This for people who understand Qur'an and the depth of the reality of Holy Qur'an, God is speaking to that which is eternal, not temporary. Allah is not talking about the physical world, He's talking about that which is eternal. Tell them, tell this creation that is in existence, if they want my love, mass attraction is now been built. If they want my love, this emanation of love is now emanating, the electron has then now been commanded to follow the nucleus. As a result of the command, the electron is going, not even a thought. There's no ego at that level. There's no understanding that we possibly can understand of the force that is attracting the electron into the center. What they, they call is an immense force because if you break it, you're going to have big problems. Welcome to Century 21 AAA Realty.
specialize in commercial and residential properties, including all your financing needs. We are one-stop shop under one roof. Owning a home is a keystone of wealth, both financial and emotional. Don't wait for opportunity. Create it. Come meet our award-winning realtors with over 40 years of experience. Call Century 21 AAA Realty. Are you ever searching for what zikr to recite for a particular situation or which prayer to make for an event or need? The search is over. We bring to you through the Muhammadan Way app an all-encompassing Islamic guide. A platform where you can find all the surahs from Holy Quran, special duas and prayers, as well as live zikrs and comprehensive Islamic teachings from world-renowned scholars. Download this powerful app now and keep up to date with in-app notifications. Available for download on iOS and Android. The immensity of the love the electron has to reach the center. As a result of wanting to come into the center, there's a weaker force, another weaker love that comes and says, oh oh, not right now. Otherwise the attraction would come and this life would be over. So there's attraction that pulling it into the center. It's all Divine Love. There's another force that's saying, no, like a, like a love, like a love affair. But not right now. Allah is just saying, no, no, you can't come that quick. You can't just come right into the nucleus. As a result of the force that wants to bring it for love and the equal love, a little bit lesser, they call the lesser force pushes it away, this now creates the desire of the electron. So the electron doesn't stop. Because of the force and the pull of love, it's now moving, right? There's a centrifugal movement. As a result of this immense love, it's now going to begin to move to look to where it can come in. It's a love affair that it wants to get in, it's not going to stop, it's going to be moving. This love that coming, it begins to make the electron to be lost in spinning, spinning, spinning. As a result of the spin, you have now upward thrust. Attraction, centrifugal force, oh, oh, oh. that's why ra. When we went to Sayyidina Jalaluddin, that was the Sama. The Sufi dance was his way of teaching that Ayatul Kareem. That if you want to imitate your electrons, you have to feel the love and your nucleus that God gave to us. Our physical nucleus is our heart. And your body is the electron, your body is that which is negative. That which is eternal within you is the light that comes within your heart. So make your electrons, make your body to spin around your heart. So when they spin and spin and spin the electrons, it becomes an now upward thrust. So this whole hologram of life that we live and every planet and every creature, everything upon it is a hollow space and it's just existing as a hologram. And that's why Allah says, this life is but an illusion. A 
if I take the spin, everything collapses. Its whole appearance is based on love. Hub with the Hadaba. This is from the ocean of Hayat and the Bahr Qudra and the Ba that begin to open all of the secrets of creation and become Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. So this whole illusion of life and the hologram of our life is based on that reality. If you understood, truly understood one atom, you understood now the whole of the universe is like that. So then this from the nucleus to the electron is a vibration of love that comes out. It's the Wi-Fi of Divine. It's a Wi-Fi that comes out and connects to everything. Everything is now manifesting from that power coming out. Everything is taking from that La ilaha Muhammadur Rasulullah And that's why they were making all these circles of Muhammad Rasulullah to show these are the atom. The reality of the atom is that Divinely light in the center reaches to everything. It sustains everything. With Allah teaching us, you have a nucleus and a center for everything. Center of your galaxy is that sun, the center of your being is your heart and the center of your deen and your religion is the Kaaba and the Kaaba represents the nucleus and a force of Divine power. And when you come to the Kaaba, take all that clothes off, wear two white robes and be an electron because the electrons are negative. The Kaaba is positive and you're coming and circumambulating and imitating that reality. And my Lord, I'm just an electron coming back to my origin. My electrons are already doing this. Anybody doesn't want to make Hajj, you're already doing it. The earth is making a Hajj around the sun. The sun is the superior source because it's the light. The planet is devoid of light, means that which in life is always superior is the light. Knowledge quality, integrity. Star cares about your best interests and have a wealth of experience to match. We've been in the business 30 years and are here to lead you every step of the way. Whether it's building the custom home of your dreams, doing gorgeous home renovations, building a laneway home, or revamping your commercial space. The star process works. Just ask our hundreds of satisfied customers. We have several properties and the best thing about Star for Life Services is that the work is done in a very timely manner and we're always very pleased with the result. Star, let's make your dreams happen. Call us now to book your free consultation. Rising Sun of the West is an essential spiritual guidebook filled with invaluable knowledge of the elements within our cosmos. The author guides the student through a comprehensive program of spiritual development and journeys to the Divine's most powerful Sun of all universes, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. These symbols of guidance lead us on the path to enlightenment and by applying the disciplines of the star, the willing seeker can unlock hidden realities of the soul. It is ultimately through their guiding light that the student transcends life on earth and moves closer to realizing true cosmic awareness. Available worldwide at Amazon.com Shaykh 
Hazrat Sultan and Awliya described that when you distance yourself from Rijalullah, from Awliyaullah, you have distanced yourself from God's mercy and that's all that the, the evilness wants. Distance yourself from any type of authority or spiritual training on how to connect with your heart so that you can enter into oceans of despair. So God's mercy is there are people on earth who have been trained and as a result of their training their life is to train other people free of charge, it's not something you pay for. They say, okay pay this course three thousand dollars you become a master of the third, thirty, third degree. We went somewhere and they said their cat was a master of Reiki healing. Not that, it's something that has to be given freely. There's no compulsion in it and it's based on your choice. But it's a lifesaver at this time in our lives, a stress reducer in our lives. And they come to teach as much as your own and your cup is full, what God is going to send to you. So every spiritual master from every spiritual background taught, empty your cup. It's actually your head causing all the problems, your overactive mind, it doesn't know anything. Your mind and your head, your brain is a piece of mushy meat inside a box. It has never seen anything, it's a sponge and all it does is absorbs. You only know from what you've been conditioned. What you've been told, it just absorbed, it absorbed, it absorbed until it made you now who you are and has never seen anything. Why did you believe in it? So then awliya come and teach, oh don't, don't trust that head, shut the head off. That's why the first zikr, La ilaha illallah. Our meditation is based on being nothing, I'm nothing, I'm nothing. Whatever my electrons on the outside are making me to think that I'm something that's not the reality, that is the illusion that's spinning and when Allah stops the spin is your grave. Everyone tastes of death, how much they're manifesting, how wealthy they are, how powerful they are, what positions they have. Everybody goes to the same dirt. Then what happened to those atoms? Ash, ashes, ashen dusted. The spin stopped. The life ended and they went down. But there's a soul and a light and a reality within them that was free from their mass. So E equals MC squared is a Sufi formula. If you're too much in your body, too much with your physicality, you're not going to feel any energy on that side. So then the whole training was reduce your mass by yourself, the importance of your mass by yourself. When you're trained with them they begin to teach you and show you all your bad characteristics. If you can suppress them and bring them down, your mass actually begins to deflate. As your mass deflates, now your two lights will begin to come out. If your characteristics are good, the superior light, angelic light will begin to suppress the bad light. How do these people go out and be of service? Because that fire of zeal is within them, not the fire of anger which they want to burn everything. They didn't let their destiny to head in that direction and that was through their tafakkur, their meditation and contemplation. That how am I going to balance my scale, how am I going to bring that down, how am I going to bring all these lights? I begin to lower myself, lower myself, lower myself. These praisings and these associations are emitting a tremendous Wi-Fi because they are from these servants that have connected to that power. As soon as they begin the associations, 
they are opening an appearance and an audience into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad A bab begins to open. As that opening comes then the fires and the energies are flowing. Doesn't matter if it's here or 10,000 miles, their fires is coming all the way from the heavens, beyond the realm of the speed of light, faster than the speed of thought. From that realm they're pulling in light from the hearts and begin to reflect like a satellite. Connect with that signal, feel the signal, bring that light, make your prayers, make your connection, put all that energy upon yourself, bring yourself down and your angry light is being deflated. How do you die before you die? Stop using your mouth, let people insult you, who cares? The people do whatever they want other than abuse you physically. You don't have to answer back, you don't have to give a response to everything. That I mean, my Lord I'm trying to deflate myself, not inflate myself. I want to be nothing, I want to be nothing, I want to be nothing and this formula begins to work. We pray that Allah bless us, dress us and give us a deeper understanding of is the power and essence of what's happening. سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون السلام على المرسلين الحمد لله رب العالمين بحرمة محمد المصطفى ومصير سورة الفاتحة
Jay.